hey y'all welcome back to my channel so today i want to share with you guys some background information about me you know film a formal get to know me video um so i'm going to share you share with you guys some background information about me and also some random facts that you may know or may not know um just so we can get to know each other a little bit better um, of course, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know. Comment them down below, but let's get right into it. So, first and foremost, if you don't already know, my name is Lexus, like the car, L-E-X-U-S. There's no A, there's no I, it's like the car. Um, my middle name is Nicole, so that's where Lex and Nicole comes from. Most people could just call me Lex or pretty much Lex. Um, if you don't know me, you probably call me Lexus or Lexus Nicole, which is fine. I answer to pretty much one of those three, as long as it's not Alexis. Like that just really grind my gears because I'm. I will tell you, like my name is Lexus, like the car, and people will still call me Alexis. But anywho, um, another fact about me: I am 25 years old. I am a Taurus. I was born May 1st. Woo woo woo. Funny thing is, I only know about two Taurus females. Um, I'm one, of course. My sister is one, and then I know like one other person. Maybe like two other people. But other than that, I don't know like a whole bunch of Taurus females. You know what that means? That means <laughs> we're rare, sweetie. We're rare. Um, but anywho, I am from North Carolina, born and raised. Um, I went to uh, HBCU, I went there twice, I have two degrees, I have a bachelor's degree and also a master's degree, um, but about, that's pretty much the basic of who I am. I'm trying to think of what else I could share mm, that you may not know. Oh. That's pretty much it. So I'm also going to share with you guys some random facts, so let me get those pulled up. I actually have those in my phone. So, if you don't already know, I have like a list that I made of some random facts. So, I'm going to start by, I have about 12. So, the first random fact is, my favorite color is pink. As you can see in the background, my bed is pink. Like, pink is my go-to. It gives me princess vibes. That's just, it's also my favorite color. But, as of recently, another color of mine is black. My nails are black. Um, black gives me that like sleek, classy look that sometimes pink doesn't give me. So I will say black is definitely my top two favorite color. Another random fact about me, my favorite drink on top of everything else, soda, juice, everything is chocolate milk. I love chocolate milk. Can I have some chocolate milk? Um, I tend to sneak it in probably like once or twice a week. And the reason why I sneak it is because I'm actually lactose intolerant. So, of course, milk, lactose intolerant, don't mix. So, I have to sneak it in like once or, tw once or twice a week when I'm by myself so I can, you know, handle my business. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's my favorite drink. Uh, ooh, a third fact about me. Ooh, this is so creepy. So, when I was five years old, my finger ripped off. So I'm going to give you guys some backstory. So we were um, remodeling our house. My mom was working on the floor and me and my cousin was playing hide and go seek. And we're running through the house like kids. And I slipped and slid across the floor and there was a nail out the floor, kind of like in the floor, but like out the floor. And it sliced through my hand and just popped my finger off. So I'm going to try to, ooh, what is that? I'm going to try to show you guys my scar because it's big. Let's see. Oh, there it is. So this scar right here is where they had to reattach my finger. <laughs> and yes, it, it does fully function. Um, it's never given me any problems as far as, you know, not working. I did have to have it surgically put back on, of course. And I also had to have a nerve surgery to make sure my nerves will function properly. But other than that, um, it works fine. But I think that's so cool because, um, like when we do like a icebreaker things like that when I meet new people, I'm like, oh yeah, by the way, my finger fell off before, and people were like, what? But I have proof. 
Um, so on to the next one. Another random fact about me. Ooh. So, uh, we're gonna we're gonna come back to that one. But another random fact about me is that I am a foodie. I love food. I am down to try pretty much anything, any you know, any country, anything. I love food. I will drive to anywhere for food. Me and my friends have this saying that we will spend however much money and drive however far for food. Like that's just us. Like for good food, I'm there. I love food. Um, so to bounce off of that, another random topic is I love to cook. Like I tend to cook different recipes on a weekly basis. I like to switch things up, you know, so things don't get boring. Like who wants the same meal every week? Like, you know, I switch it up. Um, but the only downside to that is I hate cleaning hate it hate it hate it um so i love to cook but i hate to clean so it's kind of like uh, but i do cook quite often i'm also a good baker as well the most recent thing that i baked was some homemade cornbread oh i would try to insert a picture up here somewhere if not i just know my cornbread is like that it's like that um but that's you know, <laughs> that's a cute little fact about me. Um, another random fact is I can sleep anywhere, anywhere, any place, any time, any event. If your girl is tired, she's going to sleep, period. Um, the most recent event that I fell asleep at is my friend's housewarming. <laughs> it was a whole party going on and I'm in the floor sleep with a blanket knocked um i did have a picture of that so i'm definitely going to include that somewhere on the screen but yeah i can fall asleep pretty much anywhere i don't know what it is as long as i can like you know just have my neck supported i'm good like it don't have to be my head as long as my neck is good i can i'm out i'm out um Another random fact about me is that I enjoy traveling. As we all know, we're in the middle of COVID, so I haven't traveled anywhere. Um, the last place that I traveled to was New York. I went there in October. But other than that, I love to travel. Um, I've been in the country three times. I've been to Costa Rica twice, and I've been to Egypt. I had plans last year to go out of the country, but of course, that didn't happen. And I doubt I go anywhere out of the country this year, but I do have some in um, in the States travel planned. So I can't wait for those. And I may even <laughs> do a little vlog. Oh no, oh no, I may do a little vlog. But um, I love to travel. If I can quit my job and travel 24 seven, I would definitely do that. But you know, I got bills, I got bills. Um, another fact about me. <laughs> so even though I'm a great I consider myself a great cook. I just learned how to fry chicken about six months ago. But don't get me wrong, even though I just learned, my chicken is bomb, like top tier. Like I will put it up there with whoever's chicken, you know, it's, it's like that. But I just learned how to fry chicken. Um, thanks to my mom, my friends, my aunts, I finally like created the perfect perfect recipe and my chicken is pretty good it's pretty good um another fact about me is i have six tattoos so i got five of my tattoos when i was 18. as soon as i turned 18 i'm like oh yeah we're gonna tat this body up <laughs> crazy crazy idea because now that i'm 25 i actually regret pretty much all of them but whatever but as you can see here is uh one tattoo this is actually my very very first tattoo this is my mom's signature i don't like it that well um like the meaning behind it is great but the overall tattoo is just uh but the rest of my tattoos are pretty much hidden you'll probably never see them um but yeah i have six tattoos in total will i get any more no i'm actually considering getting some of them removed um, I heard it's pretty painful, but that's on my to-do list in the near future is to get some of these removed because I'm not, I'm not a fan. Maybe if they were better quality, I would like them more, but they're not, so mm -mm, I don't, I don't like them. Anywho, on to the next one. Oh, so this is one that I skipped. So, <laughs> a lot of people do not know this about me, even 
people that I associate with on like a day weekly basis but um two of my siblings so two of us or two of them I'm one of five kids by the way one of five youngins Damn! um but two of us two of them however you want to word it are adopted Ooh. um yeah so two of my siblings are adopted um which is very cool um maybe one day i will share them or us our story with the world but yeah so two of my siblings are adopted um you know nice little blended family so yeah i think that's pretty cool i think that's very random but also very cool but let's see let's see what else i got on my random bag list we did that we did that we did that oh so another random fact is oh this is actually the last one too i am terrified of clowns terrified on my list of fears it has to be clowns number one snakes number two and then yeah that's that's pretty much it nothing i don't think anything has, has ever happened to me in regards to me being scared of clowns but for some reason i'm terrified i i avoid them at all costs like if i were to go to like a fair or a circus or anything i will avoid the clowns at all costs like i am terrified like pee my pants hyperventilate panic attack terrified don't know what happened that's just what happened um that's just a result of me seeing them but yeah i am terrified of clowns so um if you ever want to prank me i mean i wouldn't recommend it because i have a heart attack but that would be a nice little prank i'll probably die but you know whatever but that's pretty much it about me um if you guys want to know something else that you think i may have missed um let me know down below i will try to respond to your comment or pick it up in the next video that i record but yeah that's pretty much about me um i hope you guys learned something new especially people who are, like already know me i hope you learned something new if you know if you already knew all this stuff but hopefully you learned something new um and also stay tuned for more content because it is coming i promise it's coming but with that being said, without further ado, so I can stop talking you guys, head off. Have a great day, great week, whatever it's going on. And I will see you guys soon. Bye-bye.